Hello, everyone. Welcome to the first episode of Region 6 NPA Podcast. I'm your host, Diana McCauley, Region 6 President. I'm so excited to welcome our first guest, Makia Hughes. I'm going to just read her um, bio. Um, Makia Hughes has been a registered nurse for nine years and an advanced practice registered nurse since 2015. After graduating from Brum Community College with her associate's degree in nursing, she started as a registered nurse at AHRC, an organization to individuals with developmental disabilities. While working with nursing at Hunter Bellevue School of Nursing, during her time of study, she was inducted into the Sigma Data Tau Honor Society of Academic Achievement. After graduating from Hunter College, she uh, worked as a registered nurse in the adult emergency department in North Central Bronx Hospital and New York Presbyterian Columbia Hospital. She became a DAISY Award recipient, which is a recognition of her passion and dedication to her patients. While working full-time as an emergency room nurse, she returned to school to obtain her master's degree with a specialty in family practice from Lehman College. She's currently certified both in AANP and ANCC as a family nurse practitioner. In her first job as a nurse practitioner, she worked in pre-admission testing clinic at Queens Hospital Center. In an effort to broaden her experience and to work closer to home, she transferred to a primary care at North Central Bronx Hospital, where she gained experience in managing and preventing chronic diseases, as well as treating acute illnesses. She was also able to precept student nurse practitioners. Makia has returned to the pre-surgical testing clinic at Jacoby Medical Center, where she works in the autonomy of her degree and expertise. As a nurse practitioner, her contribution to a healthier society is not limited to clinical practice. She's currently working on a project with her church, which is geared to health education in her local community. I would like to welcome Makia Hughes. Makia. Hello. Hi, how are you? Doing well, how are you? Good, good, good. I'm so excited to have you as our first guest. How are you doing today? It's definitely an honor. <laughs> Very well, and I'm grateful to be here. Perfect, perfect. So we'll just get started with my first question. So, Makia, tell me how did you get involved in the NPA community? What made you want to become an NP? Okay, so I originally graduated as an RN in 2010, and I always knew that I wanted to broaden um, my skill set. Um, I am dedicated to lifelong learning, so I was, I was always looking at my next goal, and I decided to be a nurse practitioner, and mostly because I wanted to increase my knowledge, build my um, skill set, and also I would have greater autonomy to help um, my patients. Um, as an RN, you're usually taking the orders, and as an NP, you're actually doing the critical thinking to actually come up with a, a plan to treat the patients as the best of your ability. So I took a lot of pride in that. And that's what made me become an MP. Yeah, I totally agree on, with you on that uh, for sure. Perfect. Um, tell us uh, one of your most impactful cases. Oh, there's been so many across my career. <laughs> but one, I can tell you about a really um, meaningful time and I know this is also a meaningful time for everyone else was during COVID. Um, COVID actually um, took me out of my place as a nurse practitioner in an outpatient clinic where I did uh, pre-admission testing and clearing patients for surgery. Since there weren't any surgeries, they actually closed down my clinic and I ended up on the floor in an ICU with patients that, um, with patients who were on ventilators. So in that, I felt like that was the most impactful to be at the bedside of um, patients who are at their worst and not many people wanted to be there. They were scared. They were fearful. But I knew that in my position, I had to do what I had to do. And I had to make sure that patient had the best experience that they can have. Um, sometimes they would get better and sometimes they wouldn't. But it was still an honor to be in that environment. Yeah, I I can definitely attest to that. You know, working um, during COVID was definitely a tough time. It really, you know, allowed us to really see the difference in, you know, what we do. But also, you know, there were some tough cases 
yeah. as well. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. so exactly. Thank you for sharing. Mm -hmm. All right. Next question. Um, what does belonging to the NPA mean for an NP? Um, being a part of an NPA was entering a new community. Um, usually uh, your direct community is your coworkers, are your coworkers. But with the NPA, we had a lot of like-minded people with um, like-minded ideas who had um, like-minded um, goals that we can come together and we can brainstorm and we can come up with different things that we wanted to do. Mm -hmm. And everybody was always willing to put their hand to the plan and get to work. So it was a very, um, it was a great place for networking. It was a great place to um, witness other NPs in your same position, mm -hmm. hear about um, other hospital cultures, hear about private versus um, public sector, um, hear about different, since NPs can work in almost any um, specialty, we heard, of, we heard about different mm -hmm. specialties. Um, mm -hmm. We can see if we wanted to get into those specialties. And sometimes they were NPs there who were looking for other NPs um, because mm -hmm. of vacancies at their job. So I actually brought a friend um, from one of our dinners and she actually was able to network and got a job. So it's 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 a it's a it's like a family. Like we come together, um, we encourage each other, we encourage growth, we encourage passion and we enjoy being um, among each other. I totally agree. I totally agree. I think that's one of the main reasons why I joined the MPA because of the support and, um, you know, the community mm -hmm. and trying to find ways to eliminate, eliminate barriers um, that's preventing us from practicing on the top of our license. So yes. I, I think, um, yeah, I think that's a, a great, a great thing that you said. Yeah. With, with actually um, meeting new people, you realize your, your opportunities are endless. <laughs> it really is. Thank you anywhere. <laughs> it really, really, really is. It's, Amazing. It's definitely great to see you know your peers and just brainstorm and you know see what's going on what you know in their um, workplace and you know all we all have the same agenda so it's really 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 good to join the NPA yep <laughs> perfect well thank you Makia so much for joining us on our first episode that concludes our first podcast I'm super excited and uh join us on our next episode Wonderful. Thank you for having me. Not a problem. Thank you.